Hi there. My name is Steve Horseman. My purpose in life is to help you understand the difference between being a guy that just does stuff and a guy who knows how to be a man. What I want to talk about is being that guy. Being that guy who knows how to respond in his life instead of just reacting to everything that happens. First, I'd like you to find a way to relax, get in a comfortable place. Lay down or sit up straight, whatever feels good for you. And I'd like you to slow your breathing to a very slow, deliberate pace through your nose and out your mouth. Think about your heart rate slowing down. Think about it going from 90 to 80 to 70 to 60 and to 50. And as you're breathing, think about a color. Think about the color that you would say your heart is. What colors in the spectrum do you think your heart represents? Mine happens to be orange. I don't know why. My heart color is orange. But pick your color. And as you're breathing, get that color to increase in its intensity. As you breathe in, think of it like bellows on a fire. And that color is getting brighter every time you breathe. And as you're relaxing, think of the color starting to permeate your body, exiting out from your heart space into your shoulders as they relax. It's a very calming energy. This is an energy that other people feel you when you're at your most authentic self. When you're being that guy, when you're being your best self, this is the color and the feeling that other people experience in your presence. Do you feel the color moving down your body, down your torso, toward your legs, and out your arms? Let the color, as it gets brighter and brighter, move to the ends of your extremities until you feel them at the ends of your toes and the ends of your fingers and the tip of your hair. Keep breathing. Keep the fire going. Keep the fire going. I want to talk about being that guy. I had a guy in my life. He was my uncle. He wasn't my dad. I wished he was my dad, but now that I'm older, it's okay that he wasn't. My uncle was that guy. He was that guy who seemed unrattled unshakable, unstoppable. He seemed to be so confident, and yet he didn't know everything. But one thing he did know, he was a guy who knew that he could figure it out. He knew that no matter what happened with people, with cars, with Anything he was working on in life, whether it was his relationships or himself, he just had a calmness about him. I always wanted to be like him. He was that guy. Whenever something really bad happened, I got stuck in the middle of the freeway with him one time in his pickup truck. I worked with him and the, and the truck just stopped cars and trucks whizzing by it would have freaked anybody out it's like he didn't even stop singing the song he was humming in the truck he just got out knowing what he needed to do he found an adjustable wrench in the toolbox and he takes out the fuel filter from under the engine and he leans out into traffic blows through it to clear out the residue and he just calmly put it back into the carburetor, tightened it up, and came back in. And it's like he picked up on the song where he left off and we got back on the highway. He was that guy. That, that story is true, but that story describes how he was with everything that happened. 
It could be uh, somebody who died in his life, or a fight with somebody, or, or chaos at home, or anything that happened. He just knew that there was a way to get through it, and to get through it with honor and integrity. Always wanted to be like him. My dad wasn't like him. My dad tended to drink, tended to scream at the TV, tended to yell a lot, and tended to fall asleep in his chair. We'd have to wake him up and get him to go to bed in a drunken stupor. But my uncle was that guy, so I knew it was possible to be that guy. And I'm still trying to be that guy, and I want you to think about what it might be like to be that guy in your life. Breathe. What would it be like to start responding to things that go wrong in your life? Whether it's an angry girlfriend or wife, a screaming teenager, a flat tire in the car, losing your job, what would it be like to to know that those things will happen to all of us, and that there's a way to think about them before they happen in ways that can make you calm right now? So calm that you know when those things do happen, and they will. You know how you're going to respond. You know. That's where confidence comes from. Being that guy is a man who's confident to know, and he may not know everything, and he can't predict what's going to happen. But he knows he's strong enough. He's resourceful enough. He's persistent enough to figure it out, and you will. You always do. The point is, you can do it and feel better, and make those around you feel better. I don't know what color my uncle was when he breathed. I felt blue. I think I told you I'm an orange guy. He was blue when he breathed, and that. Highway when the fuel filter clogged and it would have been a disaster for anybody else. He breathed and I felt calmness. I wasn't scared. It was because of his energy and the way he breathed, his confidence, and his calmness that made everyone around him feel better. I was gravitated toward him. I was always afraid to talk about it until now with you, actually. I could never tell my dad. It would hurt his feelings to know that I had these feelings about another man in my life. My dad taught me a lot of things, and sometimes the things that、uh, our parents teach us are what not to do, and that's okay. But my uncle Larry, oh my gosh, I'll never forget him, and I'll never forget his blue energy. He breathed it all the time up until the day his wife, my favorite aunt, died, by his side. He's still breathing blue energy. He's a little tired now, but I still love him, and I think I'll call him today. Now that I'm talking about this to you, what color are you? What color is coming out of your fingers and your toes? And when you wake up shortly here, what color will other people feel from you when you're around them? How can you help them calm down by letting them feel your calm energy of consistency and confidence that you know how to respond when things go wrong? And you don't need to lose your head. You don't need to react like we do when we're. Young men, I would react a lot. Even when I was a fairly old man, I would react a lot. We get angry and we yell and we punch things and throw things and we curse and we start blaming everyone else around us until we somehow feel better, but we never do. I didn't know about my heart color then. When I found my orange and learned to breathe, 
I learned that everything was in my control. All of my thoughts and all of my feelings were under my control. I want that for you. What's your color? How are you breathing? I'm going to ask you to wake up here in a second, and when you do, I want you to think about your color. And the next person you see in the next few minutes after you wake up, don't say anything to them at all. Breathe and let your color wash over them. Let your color wash over them as you look them in the eye. Watch a calmness come through their face. I'm a cowboy. I ride horses, run chainsaws, dig ditches. I'm not into this woo-woo stuff, but I'm telling you, if you can embrace this and take it as true, your life will change. It's time to wake up now. Welcome back. Have a great day. With all my love and respect, have a good one. Bye bye.